What is up, Capricorn? This is your love reading for November. My name is Renee, and welcome to my channel. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, Capricorn, let's get another card for you. Okay, so we have affirmation for positive change. And we have affirmation for growth. Yeah, change and growth, that is very prominent right now and at the bottom of the deck you have give in to passion okay capricorn what's coming in for capricorn let's get a few more oracles then we'll start with tarot What does Capricorn need to hear about love? Exposed and revealed. Okay, something has been exposed and revealed. And actually both of these wanted to come out. We have body and soul and shining through. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have Earth Magic. All right, Capricorn. Yeah, you are an Earth sign. That is you. I feel like you are spreading your magic, Capricorn. You are making things happen. You're going through a huge change and transformation at this time. I'm feeling like... Um, Maybe something has been, the truth's come out, but you're still standing strong. Let's find out what this truth is. Let's find out what was exposed. Okay, grief. I understand that Losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Actually, that's come out for a few other signs as well. So this is the time when we are releasing things from our life that no longer serve us. <laughs> and of course, humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah, most of the Capricorns I know are very humorous. They're very funny. And balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. Okay, Capricorn. I love that about you. And as I was saying, most of the Capricorns that I know have a very good sense of humor. They're, they're funny. They keep you laughing. They are... They find the humor in everything. And so it, it's just, it's not even a surprise that that would come out in a reading. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got the Two of Swords. We've got the Six of Pentacles. We've got the Moon. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. Man, Capricorn, are, are you... I'm feeling like you may not even be looking for love. I feel like you may be focused on your money. We have the King of Wands.
and we have the King of Cups. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, yeah, well, you may be thinking about love. Okay, you have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, you, you are thinking about love. You also have the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So, yeah, I, I feel like there's a new beginning. You're going to receive messages, Capricorn. There's, there's a communication that's going to be coming through that maybe someone's going to be asking you out. But I feel like you're, you're not even really focused on love, but genuinely, when you're not focused on something is when it truly finds you. So I feel like even though you're not truly focused on love, I feel like love is focused on you. Does that make sense? Okay, Capricorn, you have the Two of Swords and you have the Six of Pentacles. So I, I feel like you are in a position to give something spectacular to someone you care about you're you're not you're not really focusing on love but i feel like if love came to you you would give it your all and you have the moon and the ten of pentacles so yeah i think even though you're not focused on love. I feel like love is coming in unexpectedly. Even though you're not focused on love, love is focused on you. That's what I keep getting. And I feel like You bring so much to the table. You bring all of you when you put it put yourself into this situation. You give all of you. You give everything you've got. That's your Ten of Pentacles. You also have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There are so many Pentacles here. I mean if this wasn't a love reading, this would definitely be a money reading because, yeah, I'm seeing that maybe you're actually meeting somebody at work. Maybe this person is coming through at work. Maybe you are in a meeting and someone walks through and you're just like, wow. Wow. This is the one. But yeah, I feel like this is definitely a new beginning with someone who is very stable. They may also be very independent, very resourceful. Hmm. Wow. I think this is going to actually blow you off your feet. Um, you have the King of Pen the King of Cups, and the King of Wands. So this person is coming in with a fiery, charismatic energy. They may also be an entrepreneur, but they are also someone who is very loving, very kind, very generous and kind of wears their emotions on their sleeve. So I, I feel like this may be a fire sign or a water sign. Or this may be someone who has a lot of fire and water in their, in their um, chart. Let me get a card for this King of Cups and King of Wands. 
Tell me more about their energy, please. Tell me more about their energy. What does Capricorn need to know about this person? Ten of Wands. They want to take all the burdens off of you. They want to carry the weight. The Four of Pentacles. So yeah, they're very balanced. They're very... They want long-term security with you. They're not in it just for a one-night stand or a short-term relationship. They want something long-term with you. They want something very stable. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, let's get some energy. Let's clarify this reading, please. Let's clarify this reading. What is this Two of Swords and Six of Pentacles? With the Two of Swords, you have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person is going to come in and they're going to send you a message. You'll be receiving a message. Yeah, this, this may be work. This may be work related. This may be someone that you need at work. But they're, they want to offer you something. Now all these cards want to come out. That's too many. What is the Six of Pentacles? The Six of Pentacles, the Devil. I think this is person, a person who finds you addictive. <laughs> they find you very sexual they I, I feel like they're attracted to you but they're, they're kind of they have lust on their mind but this is someone who, who really wants something long term for you they want something long term with you they want to give you all they got yeah with the moon you also have the sun so I feel like this is something that can grow into something very beautiful. This is something that can provide you with a lot of happiness. With the Ten of Pentacles, you have the judgment. Okay, how many arcanas can you, can you, <laughs> can we come out for this? But yeah, I feel like. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Judgment, I definitely feel like they want to give you their all. They want to they want to build something with you. Something that's lasting. Something that makes you feel like you're like you're totally renewed. They want to lift you and take you to a higher level. Maybe that's with the with the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe getting with them actually takes you to a higher financial level. Huh. 
But with this Ace of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Cups. So I think I'm, I'm intuitively feeling that uh, with the Eight of Cups, I feel like you're walking into your future. When I'm looking at this Eight of Cups, I'm focusing more on the sun. And I feel like she's walking into a glorious new beginning. I feel like she's walking into her fulfillment. She's, she's left all these uh, disappointments behind. And now she's walking towards the sun. Does that make sense? That's, that's what I'm feeling in the situation. With the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Chariot. So this may be someone who is just visiting. If, if it's through your company, they could be someone who is just coming in for a meeting. And this may lead to a move in the near future. This may lead to you physically moving forward. Okay, with the King of Wands, you have the Ace of Swords. So yeah, I think this is going to give you new fulfillment. This is going to bring new thoughts, new balance. This is like new territory. This is going to be a new adventure for you, I believe. Yeah, this is definitely work related because we have the eight of pentacles. So I, I think that with this situation, your work life is going to change forever. Um, I feel like this person may be well off enough to where you won't have to work as hard. Because when I'm looking at this card, yes, I, I see the moon in its phases. But I'm looking at all this. And all this is the prosperity from the hard work. All this is the reward. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the reward in this card. So what I'm seeing is that all your hard work is paid off and I don't feel like you're going to have to work as hard in the future because of this new relationship. Let's get one more card. I need one more card. Okay, yes, the two of swords. So yeah, this is going to be a decision that you'll be making. Um... I think it's going to be a decision that's going to be kind of hard for you to make. You feel like you have to compromise in this situation, but I feel like in the end it's going to be it's going to be definitely no compromising. This is going to be something that's going to be very fulfilling. Look, and when I lay down the cards, this is what wanted to come out. You have the Page of Cups, the when, when Pigs Fly. This is my Believe the Impossible is Possible card. So th this is a very, a very magical card. And I believe this person is going to give you an offer. This person is going to be your stability. Yeah, it's going to bring you a lot of independence. Um, it's going to be very fruitful for you. And they actually want to be your guardian. They want to be your angel. They want to be someone who brings you balance in your conflict. They want to be that person that balances you out. That's very beautiful energy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. So I feel like this is your enlightenment. This is going to bring you so much focus, so much stability. I believe that this, this is your personal truth. This is your personal truth. This is what you've been waiting for. 
Okay, Capricorn. Let's get some cards real quick to end out this reading. We have a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Yeah, I kind of see that coming. We have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. And conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Okay, Capricorn, this is your reading. At the bottom of the deck, we have, it's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio. So yeah, I believe this may be happening during the full moon eclipse or uh, sometime in Scorpio season. And I believe it's all going to unfold more in Taurus season. So, all right, Capricorn, this is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe, hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity, excuse me, and I will catch you on the next reading. Many blessings to you, Capricorn, love and light.